Welcome to Real Physics. I want to briefly talk about a very general issue of physics that is repeatability and reproducibility of data. I'm inspired by a conference on cosmology, but the problem is broader. You need to repeat experiment and that especially holds for the very important results modern science provides us with, such as, well, let's take dark energy or something. Of course, processing data requires a lot of expertise, which cannot be done by an individual. You need these large groups. But what happens is, from the first step to the last one of the interpretation, everything is done by the same group in a kind of vertical structure. And what you need is a horizontal structure where you can step in in each layer of data processing and verify it. So if you want, if you go to particle physics, if you have another idea how to calibrate the detector, go there at that first stage. Most people wouldn't argue with that calibration, but anyway, you should be able to do that. However, I don't want just to be presented the last stage, oh, there is a Higgs boson, or oh, there is dark energy. I want to be able to follow up on all the intermediate stages. And there is a lot of stages if you take, for example, the telescopes or pictures taken by spacecraft. I mean, they take one picture in one direction, then they make a couple of turns and take another picture. Of course, you don't want to do that, all the technical work to put all these pictures one on top of another. But when it comes to filtering, say the foreground filtering of the cosmic microwave background, you might have a different idea how to do that foreground filtering, how to include low surface brightness galaxies or things like that. So I hope you got, hope you got the idea. The general principle should be that Everything should be open, all raw data should be on the internet, but not only, also the programs working at every stage should be published, provided with documentation, ideally with a help center. We should be interested that this becomes publicly available. I think it's something like the scientific heritage of humankind, a very important thing, and it's not okay if this is closed and you're told that the group of experts has worked on it with this and that result. So in one of my books I have made a list, here is it, of what I think is necessary for this data processing. We need to have a new kind of transparency in science, I think, and well, some collaborations are very good in releasing data, such as gravitational waves, they are really very open and very good. There's not that a large amount of data to be fair, but also telescopes like SDSS, the Sloan Survey, is a fantastic project. Astrophysics in general is not bad in releasing data, but something is left to be desired. The cosmic microwave background, it's not really reproducible from outside the collaborations, I think, and particle physics is a problem. I admit they have another problem, they have too many data, which is something that has gone wrong, but that's a sideline. So, but here as well, you should be able to process at least what is collected. They throw away a lot of their data with triggering, which is a problem on itself. But anyway, I hope you got the general principle here. We must get at this open culture of data processing and the internet provides the means for it. Let me know in the comments what you think about. Don't forget to like it if you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.